This story is of a time when our living world has been destroyed completely, and survivors live in the massive robotic cities. These robotic cities are similar to vehicles, implying that cities are moving. Here we observe a giant moving city named London City. London City's commander Thaddeus commands his staff and asks them to capture a small city snatching its resources and meal. And here we see the London City in pursuit of the small city. A girl is also in the small moving city whose face is veiled. That small engine had a low speed, so London City was coming nearer to it. At last, opening its gate, London City captures the small city. And this small engine is broken down and thrown into a furnace. And this furnace is the power source of London City which causes the movement of city. Small city people are also captured. London City wants to take their labor instead of killing them. But small city people do not trust thinking they will be killed. Coming there, Thaddeus assures them they will be kept as our other citizens. Here we meet a character Tom who is fond of the collection of ancient things. And he is also expert in history and technology. Mr. Valentine's daughter meets Tom here. She wants to know the cause of our world's eradication. We used to live on Earth. How did these changes occur? Tom tells, the cause of our world's eradication was Medusa, which was a quantum weapon. This quantum weapon had destroyed the whole world within 60 minutes. And leaving the old life, the survivors made the big engines as our London city where we live. Otherwise, there are also some people who are leading a traditional life and are against the mortal engines. Tom notices his old things. It is the same that London City attained from small city. He is looking all things. Thaddeus also reaches there appreciating Tom for his work. Thaddeus asks Tom, you wanted to be a pilot and also got training of it. So why have you started this research? Tom tells, circumstances compelled me to forget my dream and I had to do it. And he is also happy in his work. Now we see the same masked girl. She moves to Thaddeus taking knife to kill him, glimpsing her. Tom tries to stop but is unsuccessful. And that masked girl stabs Thaddeus, saying it was the avenge of my mother. Esther Shaw, hearing name, Thaddeus in stress looks at that girl. This girl's name is Hester Shaw who again attempts to kill Thaddeus. Meanwhile, Tom stops that girl reaching there but pushing Tom, that girl begins to run. Tom and Thaddeus pursue that girl. While running, that girl is slipped and nearly to fall out of place. But Tom quickly catches her hand coming there and saves her from fall. And this girl tells to Tom, Thaddeus is not as such as he seems but a cruel person. He has murdered my mother, saying it she parts her hand and falls into that big well, where all trash drains outside. It means, rubbish of this furnace waste from this engine. And this girl also escapes from there. At the same, Thaddeus also reaches there, worried Tom tells to Thaddeus about the conversation of that girl. She was calling you killer. Hearing it, Thaddeus pushed down Tom into the same steep well, and Tom is also expelled out from well revolving. Meanwhile, Thaddeus's daughters come here asking Tom from her father, and Thaddeus dramatized that Tom and that alien girl fell into the well while quarreling each other. I regret because he was a good boy. It is clear, Thaddeus dramatized the situation telling a lie. At the same time this girl catches the sight of Tom's frightened friends suspecting him as he is a witness. In next scene, Thaddeus sends a jet to confirm either Tom and that girl are alive or dead. But that jet cannot find anything, because they are hidden on Mountain's Peak. Hester threatens Tom showing her knife and says, I could kill Thaddeus if you had not stopped me. Hester is nearly to leave but Tom stops asking her help. He says, I have spent my whole life in London City and returning back, I want to reveal his secret and reality before everyone. Hester agrees hearing it. We see Thaddeus here who was working on his secret energy project, and he uses fusion cells for energy source. The whole secret project was on work, secretly even Thaddeus's senior officers were also unaware about Thaddeus' work. No one could visit here except Thaddeus, and this place was restricted with strict security. But Thaddeus had a threat of Hester thinking she may be the hindrance in the work of his project. Thaddeus' co-worker doctor advises him to meet with the prisoner who is in the prison of C existing in the mid-effort. He is monster and beast who always takes the name of Hester Shaw. He wants to kill her. Thaddeus immediately goes to meet green-eyed monster. Its green eyes prevail horror. Thaddeus attacks on that jail and monster is also freed who goes away to search Hester so that it may kill her. Hester and Tom take stale bread because meal is not available. And taking meal, they fall asleep. Hester is awakened hearing the sounds of model engines. 
She observes Tom is asking help from some engines. Tom was unaware that cities victimize the people capturing them, that hunter cities attack on them, but a city like Centipede saves their lives. But saviors of them care much and offer tea. On the other side, Lord Thaddeus's daughter thinks her father's life is in danger, so she meets the friend of Tom. He is the same friend who was eyewitness of Tom, and that girls fall into that well. When Thaddeus's daughter asks his help saying you know something, Tom's friend says, what would you do after knowing? She says, my father's life is in danger. But that friend says, our lives are in danger, not your father, because he was your father who pushed Tom and fell him clearing his way. Otherwise, Tom's friend also tells that your father is making a secret weapon through which he will attack on those cities who don't live on mortal engines like us. Rather, they spend their life traditionally, and they want to break the boundaries of them making this weapon. Because, according to your father, those cities have weapons, fuel and meal, and we can defeat them through this weapon. Knowing it, Thaddeus's daughter is disappointed. We see Hester and Tom again. They notice that their helper do not take them to the right direction. Suspecting, they open the secret door of engine and think to jump. But Hester could not jump because of her wounded leg. She asks him to jump, but Tom somehow had started to feel for Hester. So he does not jump saying we will live together. Now their helpers bring them at a place where alive people are bargained, it means they are sold. There is being made a bid of Hester Shaw, and a random person is about to buy her. At the same while, the most wanted criminal of London, Anna Fang, comes. Basically, Anna is against the Thaddeus and London's policies, so she is most wanted, and Anna Fang fires here and saves the lives of Hester and Tom killing everyone. Meanwhile, Green Eyes Monster also approaches there. But here we come to know that Hester Shaw perceives that monster very well, but it is not revealed how, and Anna Fang saves both of them from that monster hardly and moves ahead sitting in her jet. In her jet journey, Anna asks Hester, how does she know that monster? And why does he want to kill you? Hester tells, this monster whom I call Shrike brought me up in care. I had no support when my mother was killed by Thaddeus. And I was found by this green monster who fostered, looked after me and fed me. But I was mostly dejected so noticing my sadness, monster promised to form me like him. So that you may not remain in sadness, remind sad memories and promise me. You will be monster like me. So you may live long she makes a promise with it when she knows that Thaddeus Valentine is alive and about his location. Then she escapes from Monster intending to kill him. So this is the reason. Hester had run from Monster breaking her promise. Because the promise was to be Monster like it. But she had been escaped as a result Monster wants to kill Hester in fury. We again see London City which was moving its undecided directions. When Thaddeus' senior officer knows about it, he comes to meet him in church and says, How can you do it without my will? Thaddeus' senior office notices the working of Thaddeus on a secret project. It is not something else but the Medusa project. This project caused the destruction of our world many years ago, and Thaddeus had remade this weapon again. Thaddeus kills his senior officer before he stopped him, and Thaddeus's daughter and Tom's friends were observing all these happening. It means Thaddeus' reality has been exposed before his daughter. On the other side, Anna Fang reaches on airport landing her airship and she meets her companions and introduces Hester and Tom to them. They know that London City is approaching them with a high speed. It wants to attack on us. And Anna Fang tells, Thaddeus has Medusa system. He can only be stopped if this system is crashed, but no solution seems to be found. Memorizing her past, Hester Shaw tells, Thaddeus and her mother were good friends. Both were professional scientists, but when her mother invented the machine which could control Medusa, then seeing it, Thaddeus became opportunistic and killed her mother, so that he may have that machine getting the control power of Medusa. Now there was only a solution to have crash drive in order to crash that system. But no one knows yet, where is that drive? They are all in this trouble. At the same time, another trouble monster also arrives there destroying the airport. All soldiers try to kill monster, but nothing affects on him. And this monster also catches Tom. He is about to kill Tom, but Hester requests it saying, Don't kill, I love him. When Monster sees her sad and tears in her eyes, it leaves Tom. Because Monster never wanted to make Hester sad to cry due to any of his deed. And now we notice the same Monster is going to be damaged. Before death, he gives a locket to Hester, telling when you met me, this locket was around your neck. I kept it safe. It gives her that locket, and all leave airport sitting in their airship. 
and that monster is dead there, and the entire airport is also destroyed, and they reach a city Serom where people were leading the traditional life. Now we again see Thaddeus who announces among his people as they will destroy the wall of Serom. Basically Serom wall was too strong and before it none could destroy it. But Thaddeus tells, we have such weapon that any sort of war can be triumphed by it. Now destroying that wall, we will capture Serong. We will get meal, fuel, living place and many other things. All people are pleased. Anna takes order from her senior officer governor as we attack on London City before the time. Because if we do not attack before, Thaddeus will destroy our city using Medusa. And governor allows, Serong Air Force and Army is ready for attack. Looking at her mother-given locket, Hester opens it, and she looks inside it and finds the same crash drive which can help to destroy Medusa. She informs about it Tom. On the other side, Thaddeus attacks on them with Medusa coming near them. This attack damages the entire wall and destroys all landed plans on that wall, and both tell about this crash drive to Anna Fang. Now all attack on the London city getting together. On the way, their many soldiers are killed and many airships are perished. At last, some people reach in London City. Here Anna and Thaddeus' fight is being occurred. Due to this, his attention is diverted. Finding chance, Hester comes in that church where Medusa was being recharged. Because he had to attack once more. And after a great struggle, Hester crashes the weapon Medusa fixing her mother given USB. It means, this system has set down now. On the other side, Anna Fang is greatly wounded. And she asks Hester to run from here but Anna Fang is dead in fight. Coming out the church, Thaddeus finds his daughter. He says to her, we should run away, but his daughter knew his reality, and she says to him, I do not want to go with a killer. He himself begins to leave. As he is going, Hester comes on his way to avenge. But Thaddeus exposes a reality saying, Hester, you are my daughter. Your mother had intimacy with me. Hester is shocked knowing it. On the other side, Thaddeus's daughter goes to the control room of London City because their mortal city was proceeding to that wall where alive people were present. She wants to stop it but all control systems were damaged. She was unable to stop it. She takes the help of Tom. Sitting in his airship, Tom destroys the power source of London City. It means the same furnace from where London City was getting power to move ahead. He destroys it completely. Tom observes Thaddeus and Hester were still fighting. Tom comes to them and go saving Hester, and Thaddeus falls down there. But when he observes and where he had fallen down, London is exactly coming to his side seeing it. He closes his eyes and London City crushes him. And Thaddeus is also dead here along its city is also stopped. It means it does not move ahead. The survivors of London City requests for shelter from Sangon. Sangron's governor greets them. While Tom and Hester embrace each other, afterward they go for recreation sitting in their airship. And they go for a short trip enjoying. The story of movie ends here.